Hi, I'm Sarah Dofriend Armstrong, and I'm teaching ELA 10 at Port Huron High School. I'm currently doing a Write Well unit for narrative writing. Today, we're going to work on the first component that goes with the writing process for narrative writing. So it's called Exploding a Moment, and the directions or the top of it says, this revision technique is especially helpful in eliciting rich details. It's almost like writing in slow motion, slowing down the moment to capitalize on sights, thoughts, feelings, and more. I told you one of the things that you have to have in your essay when it's completed completely is the five senses. This is something that will help you bring those out a little bit. Um, with a narrative writing piece, you have to make sure that you grab the audience's attention and that you make them feel like they can understand the situation you're explaining or like they feel like they can paint a picture of it or something like that. So this is what we're going to look at. There's an example from Knight. Um, and what the author has done, if you look at it, it says, men to the left, women to the right. Does everyone know what Knight's about? Okay. Knight's a memoir novel um, of Eli Wiesel's experience in concentration camp in Holocaust, in the, during the Holocaust. So the men to the left, women to the right was when they were separating when they first got there to the camp. Okay. He took that sentence right there and exploded the moment below it. It says, Eight words spoken quietly, indifferently, without emotion. Eight short words. Yet think. Yet that was the moment when I parted from my mother. I had not had time to think. But already I felt the pressure of my father's hand. We were alone. For a part of a second, I glimpsed my mother and my sisters, moving away to the right. Tispora held mother's hand. I saw them disappear into the distance. My mother was stroking my sister's fair hair, as though to protect her. While I walked down with my father and the other men, and I did not know that in that place, at that moment, I was parting from my mother and Tispora forever. I went on walking. My father held on to my hand. Do you see the difference if he had just left the first sentence and not exploded the moment into that <coughs> paragraph? You wouldn't get as much of that feeling, as much of that detail. He explains that this is the time that he never saw his mother and sister again. He explains what it felt like, what he saw, the emotions that were with it. And it actually takes the moment, like it says in the top part, slows it down for you so that you can grasp all of the emotions and it brings it a little bit more to the um, surface so that you can understand everything. What we're going to do today, you're going to practice this. Okay? It's really, really important in your writing so that you can have that moment in there that the reader goes, oh wow, I can't believe that's what they were feeling or I can't believe that's what was going on. Okay? If you've read all of Night, that is much more powerful, but that right there should be pretty powerful just for you reading that part. Um, practice. Read the bland paragraphs below. Choose one sentence to explode. Make up the most interesting details possible. Make sure that the details are made up to explode the paragraphs and still fit in with the writing. So if you're taking the paragraph and you're reading what the sample says and you choose your sentence, don't make up things that don't make sense with the paragraph. I understand that this isn't your writing and you don't necessarily know what's going on. You're going to use your creative freedom with this one a little bit, um, but you need to see that you can practice the exploding the moment before you actually go into your rough draft. Okay? So you're going to actually get with a partner, anyone sitting next to you. Move your desks real quick, you guys, so that you have the partner figured out. You should both be doing this on your actual piece of paper because you're going to turn this in at the end of the hour. If you look at the front, there's one of the samples right here. If you turn it over, there's another one on the back, and I've actually provided lines for you to write on. What I want you to do, you're going to read this first one. It says, it was the middle of my day, and I wanted to do something fun. I called my friend, and we met on our bikes. We rode to town and talked about what we could do for fun. At that point, the weather changed, and we had to get home. We ended up inside all day playing board games. Just put a note on it and then explode your moment. You've got the space front and back. The next paragraph, if you flip it over, this is to get the emotion, the senses in there, and the feelings. You don't want to just take a moment and say and expand on, you know, what great fun you did. We played tennis, we went hiking. You want to get some of the emotions in there. Okay. I need to read you guys, Erica, I just want to that one time. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what's that? Last time? Last time? Last time? Last 
you decide if there's like one spot or two spots or one spot, which one do you guys want to do? We're going to talk about, okay, we're going to explode at this point the location we had to get there. You're going to explode that moment. You're going to figure out where the tornado coming because it's the first one coming. So you're going to be, you know, like you can add something on the floor. I'm always worried about her. And you're going to explode that to get the emotion. Like this is full of emotion. So the fear of them getting home in line, the fear of maybe they've been caught in bad water before. You know, like, so you're going to be like, Oh, no. Yeah, that part you're going to actually expand on right here. You know, like the rain starting to be as I was racing home, that type of thing. Rain and who? Yeah, I was, you did it right. I didn't want to like listen yes. in a very uncreative way. Yeah, okay. I'm not even getting into okay. it either. I'm just like, I'm choosing them. You're done. What? You're done. What? 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 What I want you to do now, it actually works if you stick around to where you're already sitting. If you stand up or turn around, the two of you together find another pair of partners or group of three partners and share um, one partner, share your first one, another set of partners, share your second one. It'll give you some ideas. Um, it might give you like, oh, I didn't even think about adding that, or oh, I was really struggling with this one, and this sounds really good. I can change it a little bit for myself. Okay, so you need to find a pair or a group of three. If you guys turn around, it'll work. If you and four right here, look. And I wanted to turn around, talk to to do something fun. For yeah, I'm more. And you wanted to do something. You can start through the other pattern of brain on the tin roof. What? Is that what you say? I say string is so poisoning. Listen, listen, I've been doing something with our other house. Because we're downtown, the house came out in the middle of nowhere. We still had a good 25 minutes. I got you. I'm here at home. I'm going to play the fun thing. I'm going to let you streak across. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, lightning streaked across the sky. Uh, blue and a faded yellow glow up here. Tyson, go. <laughs> okay, so read me the whole paragraph because I want it where it fits in. Alright. It was the middle of the day and I wanted to do something fun. I called my friend and we met on our bikes. We rode to town and talked about what we could do for fun. Read over your rough draft and find two areas that an explosion can be made. Read the original paragraph and pick out one sentence that can be added to in order to improve the writing. Complete the explosion in the margin, on the back of the page, or on a separate piece of paper if you're running out of room. Um, make sure to add a notation as to where the new writing will be placed in the rough draft for yourself and your peer editor. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your rough draft that you guys should have with you. Can I just hold this up? You're going to take your rough draft. She's got some room on the margins, um, but she's got the entire back of the paper that would work. So you're going to start reading it from the top to the bottom. Make a couple of notations. You're going to find two different places that you can explode the moment. You're going to mark where you're going to do it so that you know where the paragraph goes in, the new added piece. And then you're going to make you know, one and two back here or however it works out so that you know where you're adding in. So this is what I was talking about last week when I said the purpose of you having the rough drafts done was so that when I teach you the different components throughout this week, you actually practice them immediately with, with your rough draft, as opposed to this being the end of the hour, and tomorrow I teach you a different skill, and the next day I teach you a different skill, and then you finally do the rough draft. And I tell you that you have to remember how to put all of those in there. This way you actually have them in right now in the rough draft form before we even get to the star revision or the peer editing and finalizing season. That was like really good. Really for you personally or like the team and write about that. So you're going to give me all the feelings up to it. You're going to give me that moment. You're going to give me as a full narrative that has to be three pages or longer. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. If it, if it works that way, yes. 
All right, guys, you gotta get to work. No, you're done. Yes, that's all he does. You're now.